Today we're playing with a Bahamian favorite and an aphrodisiac. We're making conch lasagna and conch quesadillas. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. It's me, Ayanthea, again in the kitchen. I'm here with Tasty Caribbean Delights. Once again, they join us, but this time we have a new chef. Yes. This is Chef Nixon. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. And thanks so much for being here. So we're making some conch dishes today, right? Yes. A conch lasagna I've never had. How did you kind of come up with that? Well, you know, we Bahamians, we always have the traditional conch, conch salad. Conch yeah. Conch. So one day I was just like, yo, if the... People in the States can do all kind of stuff with seafood. Why can't we play with our conch? It tenderizes it a bit. Yeah. So I started cooking it down. I even do a, like, cook it down with some cream sauce mm. and make, have it bring a good, good flavor out and everything. I mean, it just, it just clicked. So you came up with conch uh, lasagna and conch quesadillas. Yes. We could all also right. do conch. Listen, if you could do a seafood macaroni. I, I love, yeah, I, my, my mommy always puts lobster in her macaroni, so I love it. So maybe you should try it with conch one time. Yes, try it. All right, sounds good. So let's get started on our conch lasagna. Yes. All right, so what do we do first? All right, first we have to cut up our herbs. Onions, okay. celery, and garlic. And a little bit of garlic. Yeah. No, the All right, right. stuff. Now, I mentioned earlier that conch, you know, is an aphrodisiac, mm -hmm. right? And being a chef... How do you how do you feel that people I guess respond to the conch? The conch? <laughs> yes, <laughs> a lot of people don't really know that it's an aphrodisiac. Yes, they don't. And but the thing is with me, I I think that it's a wonderful dish. It has wonderful flavor. Yeah. And you can you can even change the taste sometimes. You know, really? Just how so? Simple. Uh, yes, adding simple seasonings. Hmm, interesting. You know, you know, conch has a nice aroma. Yes, it smells really good once it's being cooked. <laughs> yes, <laughs> is and this one natural of your... juices come out yes. of it. Yes. And, oh, it's like, that's why people love our conch chowder. Yeah. It just, just has that wonderful... Is this like wonderful. one of your favorite foods to cook with? Conch? conch? Yeah. I yeah. Love conch. Seafood. But conch is my favorite. I, mm -hmm. love, I love cooking with conch. But then I also, I'm also conscious with the conch because I highly believe that, you know, we're overfishing it. Yeah. I think we need to have some kind of a season on the conch because, listen, when you go and buy conch nowadays... Come coming out smaller and smaller yes. in the shell. I'm glad you brought that up because you know there's a whole campaign now going on about preserving mm -hmm. our conch, actually conservation. Yes. And so it's something that I'm glad you mentioned it as a chef because a lot of people they want to go there, they want to get the conch, they want to make the dishes, but they're not realizing that you know we're taking away from such uh, an important what? Bahamian resource. Yes. So I'm glad you brought that up. So you guys fish responsibly, Please. buy responsibly. Please. Make sure you know that the conch is full grown before you purchase them. If you realize that they're too small, you know, tell the fishermen no, you don't want it. You know, kind of come up with our own kind of boycott system, yes. I guess, you know, to kind of preserve, you know, what's inherently ours. So, all right, you guys, but well, we're making some oh, conch lasagna. Now, we, we, we're dealing with some full, full, fully grown conch today, right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> fully grown conch. You know, we got to practice what we preach, <laughs> but you guys, we're just exactly. chopping up some herbs, herbs um, yes. some garlic, some onion, a little bit of celery, celery. there. Mm -hmm. All right, so how long have you been in the kitchen, chef? Funny thing is, my mom's the one who actually taught me how to cook. Really? From when I was like 12. Oh, wow. Every what? Sunday, she would bring me in the kitchen. She just tired of me outside with the boys playing basketball yeah. and getting in trouble. Uh. <laughs> she was like, listen, you, you got to do something. So I had, she had me in the kitchen with her cleaning fish and, wow. you know, doing everything. And then I just start to love it. A lot of young men don't, don't get that experience, you know, being in the kitchen. So No, at first it was torture. <laughs> Why? Because you know, I, I wanted to be inside with, with my friends. You play basketball and play football, right? <laughs> exactly. Said I was stuck inside. Oh, boy. You no. Know? Well, I see it's paid off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's now turned into a lucrative uh, career for you, right? Yes, All yeah. right. So sometimes mommy know what they what they be doing. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we just chopped some herbs up here, just some garlic, some onions, some celery, and mm -hmm. now we just now turned our stove on high. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'm going to let that heat up a bit. And here's my conch. I already had it already. I already, already cut it up and tenderize mm -hmm. it already. And what's the secret to getting conch tender and, you know, those bite sizes that we want for a dish like this? Well, normally, first, you know, conch is a snail, so it's really tough. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you fillet it a bit. Okay. And you tenderize it. Ah. 
A lot then of people don't fillet first. Makes sense. Whoa, yeah, because if you get school ten, yeah, you'll be there for a while and hmm. conk will get everywhere. But you have to fillet it in smaller pieces and then tenderize it. Okay, it makes it way easier. Okay, and what about yeah. letting it marinate and sit? Or that's that, that's fine. You, you can do that, but uh -huh. don't forget conk is naturally salty. Yeah, so you don't really have to add much salt and stuff to it. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. So, so just about ready to go with that. Yeah, we're gonna put this in, and with this, I don't use no oil. Hmm. Interesting. How come? Like I say, the conch gives off its own juice, hmm. and I don't want to mess up that flavor. Okay, so we're literally just using everything that's coming from the conch without adding to, or yeah, you know, just exactly. kind of taking away from I'm those trying flavors. Trying to get, get every ounce of flavor. Because you, you don't naturally, when Bahamian cooking, the first thing you want to do is add some oil to the pot. <laughs> that's our first thing to add some oil, oil to the pot. But not for this dish, you guys. As no, you can see, no, sometimes unnecessary. Yeah, we just turned up our pot. We put in our um, garlic, onions, mm -hmm. and celery. We're gonna let those sweat down a little bit. Yeah. Because you, okay. you can hear it. Yeah. You hear it talking you? No oil like, in the pan. Ready. Nice. Yes. And that smells even good by itself, right? That it smells like Kung salad, you know? Ah, uh, exactly. Awesome. Okay. So is this a dish that you make at Tasty? Or is this yeah, something so we, special? This is actually on our Sunday buffets. Ooh. And we also, yes, join us for Sunday's buffet. <laughs> Look at Every the little Sunday. salesman. <laughs> From 12 to 4. Okay. Trust me, you will love it. So what's that buffet inclusive of? I mean, what can we get there? It's um, $25 on inclusive. Mm -hmm. And every Sunday, the menu changes. Okay. But this will be one of the staple dishes. Nice. And uh, some other stuff that you will also love. Okay, so check out Tasty, you guys, on Sundays if you want to try this uh, Kung Lasagna. But today, we're going to make it here so with Chef yes. Nixon. So I'm going to get like personal, a personal behind the scenes mm -hmm. as to how this all comes yeah. together. And All we right. also do catering, by the way. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Small, big, medium, everything. Yes. Funerals, weddings. Nice. And if you remember, we had Tasty here before um, with Chef Ernest. Did you talk to Chef Ernest? Yes. About coming on the show? Mm -hmm. What did he say his experience was like? Man, he was psyched. <laughs> he was psyched? He, he loved it? He came out to work. Listen, Ernest had no this kitchen job. lit. No <laughs> Ernest had this kitchen <laughs> lit for those place, episodes. Man. Like He was just like on 10 the whole day. So he enjoyed it, right? Yes, he So you were it. a little bit prepared as to what yeah. to expect. I know. I okay. knew what to expect, you know. Good. Awesome. Listen, y'all need to bring Ernest back, okay? Ernest, like, is my boy now. Oh, <laughs> Ernest is off to Trust me, he, he, he wants to come back. Yeah? Awesome. All, All right, so. so we're just sweating down our herbs, you guys. Like, we'll again, see. some garlic, some celery, some onion. And now we're about to throw in and our... Conk. Conk. That smells so good. You don't need all that oil and Yeah, that extra smells so fat. good. Because I can see everything kind of coming together, the herbs giving off their own juices, and mm -hmm. now the conch giving off its own, so no oil. And I guess it's a healthier root also, mm -hmm. minus the oils. Now watch. Slowly, you're going to see some juices start to appear. Uh -huh. It's going to sweat. <laughs> Want mine if I mix? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Be able to get the parts, you don't want it to stick. Yeah, so you do that then. <laughs> so what we're saying is that because we don't have any oil right. in there. So we're just waiting for the juice. Yeah, we don't want it to stick. And so he is kind of using his expertise of mixing mm -hmm. so we can get those juices out. This smells so good. Oh, my goodness. Like, I've never, like I said, I've never had conch lasagna before. Yeah. But, oh, this smells cool. so good. That's me. Yes. going to go crazy. And so what other seafoods can we play with in lasagna? Can we do lobster? We can, can do, do crab, lobster, maybe? Crab. Yes, you mm. can do crab. Now, how we have the own liquids in this? Yeah. We're gonna add a and you guys, I just really want to show you, we added no oils to this pan, no water to this pan. But as you can see, mm -hmm. we have some juices going on here. And that's just from the conch and the herbs and alone. Exactly. Awesome. So now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour. This helps, this will help thicken it. OK. Because you know lasagna has to be a little bit thick. Yeah. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of salt to it. A little bit of salt as well. And I also add a little bit of white pepper. And some white pepper. Yeah. Not black. No. Can we use black though? If that's yes, all we you have? Can. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> why did you decide? Have, it has a better flavor. Ah. And it's kind of a little more intense. Okay. Than the black. Okay. The black is really I like black for more like red meat. Mm. I find white pepper goes best for seafood dishes. Oh, interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're using a little Actually, bit of white pepper. Okay, let's go down. Yeah. A little bit of see? white pepper. I see, it's thick. Yeah, I see the thickening. So that that um that flour was our thickening mm -hmm. agent that we needed to bring it all together. Yes, and now okay. I'm gonna add the cream. Is this regular cream or is this heavy, heavy cream. cream? Okay. Heavy cream. So how much heavy cream would you say for people who may be at home cooking with us or want to try this About, recipe later? How much heavy cream did we just put in there? It's two cups. Okay, about two cups of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so just to recap, you guys, we're making a conch lasagna, and in this pot, all we put was some celery, Sorry, some onions, cool. what else? Garlic. Garlic, we let those sweat down a little bit. We added in our conch, and we let that uh, create its own juices. juices yep. Mix that around a little bit, added in some flour, a little bit of heavy cream, a dash of white, white pepper, pepper. Yep. and some salt. Mm -hmm. And now we're just letting this all simmer together. And as it thickens. And this smells so good and looks mm -hmm. even better. <laughs> You want to give it a taste? You need a little spoon? Sure. So we have to check the season and make sure it's not too salty or we need a little bit more salt. Yeah. So. And that's one of the things, don't be afraid to taste as you go. Exactly. Me when I'm cooking, that's one of the things I sometimes neglect to do. I don't know why. If it's a dish I really like, I'm tasting the whole way through. <laughs> you have to taste it because you will know. never know how it's going to come out if you don't taste it. So let me know what you think. You see how it's thick? Yeah. So let's just see. A little bit more salt, salt. Right. but See? it's very conky. You taste that those herbs and those conch, of course. It just tastes like a warm conch salad, so, if that makes sense. Yes, it actually <laughs> does make sense. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're making a conch lasagna in the kitchen with Chef Nixon from Tasty Caribbean yeah. Delight, you guys. This is yes. Chef It Up. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, welcome back, you guys, to Chef It Up. We are about to Dude. now pan it up. Pan up our conch lasagna. And so just a reminder for you guys cooking home with us, some onions, some celery, mm. a little bit of garlic, sweat those down, put in our mm. conch, conch, let that come to a boil, I guess. Yes, bring like up, you bring its own juices yeah, come out of it. Yeah, let it bring its own juices up. A little bit of flour, some white pepper, pepper a little bit of salt, salt, a little bit of heavy, heavy cream. cream. And that was it. That was it. And we just mix this all together. And as you can mm -hmm. see, everything is kind of married in this pan. So yes, now nice Chef thick. Nixon is going to pan this. All right, so uh, what we do first, because what most people do, they normally spray the pan. Like, nobody could do lasagna. When you plate it up, a little bit sticks to the yeah. bottom. Yeah. All right, let me show you a trick. So show us the trick so our Let's lasagna wouldn't stick. Okay. Put a little put, bit to the, put a little put bit it to the, the bottom. bottom as a base. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. This helps the, the noodles not From to stick. From the noodles sticking, okay. And also what I do, what I learned along my way, is you don't have to boil noodles from lasagna. Interesting. How? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> because this liquid will cook the noodles and all the flavor mm. will come into the noodles. Okay, so we're saving time in the kitchen, saving some energy. So you just took our noodles straight out of the yeah. out of the box. Uh, yep. And we're putting them straight into the pan. Okay. And yeah. is that for every type of lasagna? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. You're teaching me all on chef it up. <laughs> no boiled noodles. No boiled noodles. Okay. And so Because most just... people like it, you know, how you call it, al dente, or a little bite. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes when you boil it, you over boil it, and mm. the lasagna tastes a little, you know. Makes sense. And, it and has so no you just taste cause... allow it to cook in the meat, in the baker, at the same the time. And everything. Awesome. Okay. Because when all this marinate together. I am so oh. blown away at how easy this dish is to make. Like, we've been in here for what, maybe 15, Can 20 we... minutes? Exactly. And we kind of have dinner prepared. After yes. work one day, come into the kitchen, Simple. make a quick uh, conch lasagna or crab or lobster. Yep. Seafood. Seafood, anything you want to make. All right, so now we're going to add the cheeses. Okay. So I have some ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. I have mozzarella uh -huh. and cheddar. And why are now we using add... these three? It's my favorite three. Okay, but you so can we use, can choose... You can use as much cheese in the world you want. Okay. <laughs> you can use gouda, anything. Okay, now is ricotta cheese a staple though? And yeah, you need, you need some type of, yeah, ricotta is one of the best. Yeah. You, some people want to get really fancy and go for goat. Okay. Nice. Goat cheese is also a, has a great flavor. Okay, I love goat cheese. But ricotta cheese is also awesome. Yeah, so we're just now smearing that ricotta cheese um, mm -hmm. over. And now we're throwing in some mozzarella. Yeah. Yes. Some shredded mozzarella cheese. Mm hmm Listen, this looks so good. Listen, I wish y'all could smell this kitchen right now. All right, awesome. so what we do now is... Uh, more, more cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to bake a couple layers of this, you know? That's true. You can't put all on one. I, I love cheese, so I would put all. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we put this in the oven. Awesome. And as you can see, I already have one. The magic of TV, you guys, because this dish actually takes about, what, 45 Five minutes? minutes? Yep. About 45 minutes um, to complete. And so we just put so. one of them in there a little earlier before the show. 
And this is the finished product. Oh, this looks like macaroni. Roni, I know, because of the cheese. That's <laughs> yeah, it. So that's... And that's with the eye. People like to see some of those familiar. Yeah. It looks familiar there, right? But when you cut into it, yeah. of course, you'll see those layers of noodles. Yes. You'll see the conch in there. But the thing is, with this, you don't want to cut it hot, because when you cut it hot, it's going to... Yeah. Oh, and I hate spot. that too when with lasagna. It's so, it looks so beautiful once it goes Goofy. in, but sometimes yes. it doesn't always have a great finish. So exactly. the trick to that, he says, is letting it cool down a little bit. Yes, let it cool down okay. a bit. So I promised you two conch dishes today. We're going to let our conch lasagna cool mm -hmm. for a little bit, and then we're going to get started on our conch quesadillas. Okay. Yes. All, All right. right. Open that over here for me. Awesome. All right, so here we have a tortilla wrap. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that first. So turn this on for me, what we're going okay. to do. So to make our conquest, we're going to make our fillings. Okay, perfect. All right, so the filling for it is basically the same thing. We're going to salt, we're going to julienne some bell peppers and onions along with the conch, mm -hmm. cook it down, mm -hmm. add some cheese and stuff. And, and ignore our pineapples <laughs> over here. We had to get these going a little earlier. That's for the drink that's coming up a bit later. So they're just going to simmer down in this pan for a bit. So Yes, yes, yes. So we'll get back to that later. All right, so. All right. I'm just going to cut this a little bit. So purple onion. Mm -hmm. And we got some bell peppers here. Yes, it won't take long. Is it All on? All right. This one? Yes, it's on. Yeah. Let me go higher? Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, so what kind of uh, fillings are we making? Uh, um, I guess we're doing the conch. Uh huh. So and it's similar have, to what we just did. Okay. Yeah. But we're not gonna add no cream. Okay. Stuff to it. It's gonna be. It's a twist on the traditional, regular, you know, mm -hmm. quesadillas. Okay. That you normally get when you go out to uh, different places. This is the Bahamian quesadilla. Nice. <laughs> All right. So some sliced purple onions. Yeah. A little bit of. Bell peppers, green, some red. You'll see this takes very, that's no time at all. Yeah. I love me a good quesadilla. As you see, I already made some um, pico de gallo pico de and gallo. guacamole. Okay, we got guacamole. Scratch. I love guacamole. Could never eat avocado by itself, Self? but I could eat guacamole all day. <laughs> all right, Real. stir it up for me. Sure. All right. And just like when we made the lasagna, I want to add no any fats in it either. No fats. We're just going to let everything sweat down mm -hmm. and provide their own juices. All right. So as soon as that time to get a little translucent, nice and nice and soft, we'll add our conch and season it up. Add some cheese. Perfect. Now, is this on the menu at Tasty? On the buffet. Oh, the buffet. That's Sunday buffet you talk yeah, about. Yeah, Sunday buffet. Okay. So you guys do a lot of conch dishes. Yeah, we do a lot of seafood dishes. Awesome. Fish, lobster, the good stuff. And tell Shrimp. us where Tasty is located again. While it I is get located these. off Faith Avenue. Mm -hmm. And you can call us for directions, just in case. Faith, you know Faith Avenue is very long. Yes. So a very telephone confusing. number. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually right before you get to Rubus. So okay. the phone number there is 341-5230. All right. And you can find us on Facebook at Tasty Caribbean Delights. Also on Instagram, one word, Tasty Caribbean. Nice. Now, what did you cook for your mommy or wife slash girlfriend for Mother's Day? Yes. We actually did Jamaican dishes. We actually Ooh. did, um, my mom came over and we did some ackee and codfish with some boiled food. Yes, that's what Ernest <laughs> made for us. <laughs> awesome. Yes, and then I made their favorite lobster bisque. I love lobster bisque. Yeah. So love it. They love it. Now we're going to add this. So your mom must be happy that she pulled you in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, all those days, right? Oh yeah. The wife too. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're getting ready now to uh, almost complete our um, conch quesadilla, and as you can see in the pan, just some fresh conch, um, mm -hmm. some onions, some red peppers, some green peppers, and as we did in our first part of the dish, we're just gonna let that come to Together. its own boil. Yep. Maybe turn this down a little. A little bit, yeah. Let it come to its own boil. Okay, oh now I can see the juices coming out. Now I can mm -hmm. see everything getting a little bit more loose in here. And now we can add the cheese. Now we can add some cheese, okay. Do you like it cheesy? Not yes, cheese. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, <laughs> Keenan and Kel. <laughs> yes, 
<laughs> so sad. These kids have missed out on some great, great TV. Shows, hey, man. <laughs> they don't know. So a little bit of mozzarella mm -hmm. and a little bit of uh, cheddar cheese, you guys. This is yes. Chef It Up. We are almost done with our conch quesadilla. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. The conkiest episode we've ever done <laughs> in the kitchen with Chef Nixon. And we are right. made, uh, we already made our conch lasagna. Now we're going to finish up with our conch quesadilla. Yes. Right. So as he tosses that in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, you guys, this is just our conch, um, our onions, a little bit of red peppers, peppers. some green peppers that we just uh, let simmer down in the pot with some cheese, mozzarella. What else did we use? Parmesan? Parmesan. And some yep. Parmesan. Oh, it's awesome. Very what? simple, easy dishes that yeah. we can make with conch, you know, a food that people think so hard and complicated mm -hmm. to use, but we've actually proven that, you know, conch is actually it's, very it's, versatile and yes, easy to play it with. It doesn't take that long. Not at all. Some more cheese, my favorite. Some more cheese. Now, my favorite. What you can do if you would like, you mm -hmm. can add some pico de gallo and guacamole in this, or you want to put it on top. It's up to you. Is that however you want to eat I like my stuff on the side. However you want to so. eat because it's, it's fun food. Awesome. I'll like this is something side. you can eat with um, your friends watching the yeah. NBA finals and stuff or any sports. Quick, easy. Very quick and easy. Right, we so literally made this in like 10 minutes. Yes. All right, so now <laughs> we're going to get, get a little crispy on each side because you need to have oh, a little nice. bite. You get turned up a little bit for me. Let me turn this up for you. Yes. Okay. You hear that nice sizzling? Good, That's the I love goodness. it. I call it the goodness. So can I finish this off while you cut my... Lasagna that I've been waiting on all day? Yes, you can. Perfect. So I'm just going to let this get just a little bit more crispy, mm -hmm. as he said. Mm -hmm. And he's going to cut my lasagna. That looks like the best macaroni and cheese I've ever seen in my life, but it's not <laughs> macaroni and cheese. Okay. All right, so is that good? Is that good oh. enough? One more minute. And that's when I finish this, I'll come back and I'll take it off and put it up for you. Awesome. Well, so as you see, as it cooled, it's yeah. nice and firm. So much easier to cut. And so guys, as we told you earlier, the trick to getting your uh, lasagna perfectly cut when we'll we spilling all over the place and breaking up is to let it cool for a while. And so we had that sitting there for about 10 minutes, minutes. maybe. Yep. So just let it sit for a while and then you can cut. All right. So now... Take this beautifulness off. Awesome. Oh, the cheesiness it. of it all. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yes. All right. Plates. All right. Plates me up. All right. So I'll give you two slices. This is what you call fun food, guys. Yes, fun food. And now we're going to add some... You want to try with the lasagna at the same time? Yes, Make it please, all please. A nice, beautiful. Please. So tasty. let me just start to dig into this. I know it's very hot, but I'm going to go in anyways. Don't mm. forget the, the so toppings. So good. That's so good. The crispiness of the tortilla on the outside, uh -huh. the conch in there, absolutely amazing. I'm going to get a little bit nice of guac. Together. Mm. And it's cheesy. <laughs> okay. And so while I eat this, I think you have a drink for me. Yes. <laughs> what kind of drink are you making today? We are going to make a grilled pineapple. Grilled pineapple. Pineapple yes. is my favorite fruit of all time. And so I am excited. So what we're going to do, we're going to have our mm -mm. pineapple fusion. We're going to add one ounce of that. And we're going to add some champagne along awesome. with some club soda. So... I'm going to add one ounce. Okay. But, you know, we're making a good much, so. Let me just dig into this lasagna while you pour. As you guys can see, all those herbs you put in there, the conch, the cheeses, a little mm. bit of that noodle. So good. This is really good. It's very cheesy. I'm glad you enjoyed it's it. It's comforting. It's refreshing. The bites of the conch in there, they aren't too smushy. So you mm -hmm. still got a little crunch, crunch which is what yep. I like. This is really good. I'm going to tell you guys, on any day, you can go for both of these dishes or either or mm -hmm. on any given day. But this is really good. So 
So we said this is called the... Grilled pineapple. Grilled pineapple. I'll show you why it's called a grilled pineapple right now. Yes. And as you see, guys, earlier we had, our, we had our pineapple over here boiling down a little bit. Let me just make sure this is good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got a nice little shake. Mm. So now what I'm going to do, here on this side. Sure. <laughs> well, it's closer to the pineapple. Our stove is singing. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the pineapples to the bottom. Then we're going to pour the drink over it. So what we do, we heat up our pineapple a bit so it can cook. Yes. Give it a nice... So can we use uh, raw pineapples instead of putting them in the stove, or you prefer it this way? When you think when you cook pineapple, you bring out the sweetness. Mm. So you want to get that nice flavor mm. of the pineapple out of it. Listen, I have so much conk on my plate, I don't know where to go. I back and forth <laughs> between the lasagna <laughs> and the All quesadilla. Right. And you have a grilled pineapple. And now my grilled pineapple, guys. This is really good. All right. Very refreshing <laughs> and perfectly marries with all that conch we just had. I don't know if it's because of the crispiness of the pineapple, the champagne you put in there, mm -hmm. but it all marries so well together. All right. Chef Nixon, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks this for having me. This was indeed a treat. Thanks so much for coming by, you guys. This has been Chef It Up, conch quesadilla, conch lasagna. Oh, yeah. Try them at home or visit Tasty Caribbean Delights. We'll see yes. you guys next time.